Hey, my name's Jim Stone. I'm a producer and director with Titan Pictures and I work for the Peachtree Corners Network and I'm super excited today to bring you a special episode of Peachtree Positive. We are on set in Peachtree Corners and we are interviewing the most amazing veterans and their family. I'm here today with Bob Bala. He's a retired colonel with the United States Army and he is the executive director of the Peachtree Corners Veterans Monument Association. Correct. I got that right. Yeah, you got it right. That's fantastic. Yeah, so sure. Bob, first, thank yeah. you for your service. Oh, you're welcome. I've heard your stories, an amazing career, an yeah. honored, distinguished career. Oh, thank you. But tell me, why is it important for us to do this for our vets here? Well, we're going to uh, incorporate these interviews into our monument uh, in its interactive component. Right. And that gives you a little historical context. We're also doing that for the other elements of the monument, our sculptures, our wall caps, and our benches. Yeah. So when somebody looks there and they see the War of 1812, you can get a little history lesson. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So it's yeah. going to be educational. It's going to be inspirational. Right. It's going to honor right. the vets. And you know what I've loved about this? I mean, we've had people with really distinguished careers like yourself and colonels, a retired general or two. Right. But we've also had people that were just... Correct. Yeah, soldiers. privates and corporate soldiers, yeah, yeah. Or, or they worked. They were cooks on a ship, or everything. Right. But they served honorably, and they 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 risked their life, and they they, they served they, our country they, they, well. And and we want to tell all those stories here, yeah. right? Anybody that wore the uniform put their life at risk, whether they were in combat or not. It's a risky business, regardless of where you are and what you're doing. Right. Common Mart Veterans Monument, Clyde Rivers, take one. Let, let, let's go. You guys work so hard on this. Let's see how fabulous you guys are. So we're just going to have a conversation. Just look at me and we'll talk like we're having a burger or a beer somewhere, okay? Okay. That work? Well, my helicopter is right across the street. Yeah. Well, no, it's literally right across the street. Oh, that's it's true. Right. You're right. It's Bill, right. That's right. the road to Bill Lawrence. That's awesome. It was pretty awesome. I'm here with Doug Heckman. He's the vice president of the Peachtree Corners Veterans Monument. Is that right? Association. Correct. Association. All yeah. right. So really excited. We're doing a bunch of interviews today. I interviewed you. Mm -hmm. You're a, a former Green Beret. Uh, I'm always a Green Beret. You're always I'm a Green Beret. Forgive me. Forgive you. me. So you were with Fifth Group, right? That's right. So uh, so tell me, you were in Afghanistan. You were yeah. in Iraq. Um, yeah. I had an A-team back in the 80s at Fifth Group, and they're still a brag. They're at Fort Campbell now. And then 9-11 hit, and I went over to Afghanistan within a few weeks. And was with the horse soldiers over there. The 12 wow. Strong movie just came out recently about the declassified mission over there. And uh, and then as a colonel, I was an advisor over with the uh, Iraqi military for several years. Well, that's awesome. Thank you for your service. Thank and, you, Jim. And, and tell me, I, I know you're really involved with this, but tell me why this is important for veterans and why it's important for our city here at Peachtree Corps. Well, relatively new city, as you know, and, and incidentally, I'm very proud of our city and our city's uh, leaders, but uh, just uh, helping to facilitate this project has been uh, has been an honor and I think I think the monument is really good from the standpoint of it serves a couple purposes one is to honor veterans but two and, and I think more importantly in many ways is to educate those that uh, don't know much about the military if somebody wants to honor someone or somebody wants to yeah. say hey I was in the military I'd like to tell my story where do they go well, online, uh, Petrie Corners Veterans Monument Association. Uh, we have a website you can get on and contribute there. Uh, additionally, if you just know veterans around the, around the neighborhoods, just get a hold of one of them and we'll get you into the loop. And uh, um, we, we just want to know all the veterans we have here in the area and make sure that we honor them appropriately. Never fear, we you move our senior as a convoy. We were so proud when we got our, our wings, our combat aircrew wings. One of the greatest honors I've ever had is to, you know, wear a uniform with the flag on my sleeve. It was an honor and privilege. Babe to serve in the military. 
and I consider it an honor and a privilege to be able to have a brick at the Veterans Memorial. Thank you, Brian Johnson. Thank you, Judy Putnam. Thank you, Bob Bala. Thank you guys for letting us, letting Titan and the Peachtree Corners Network be a part of this exciting adventure. Thanks so much.